Right, hello, and welcome to the Key Club. Now, nice cup of tea. Mm. Now, I've always thought that these modern smartphone thingies are a little bit frivolous. Yes, who needs these things like the internet? You can't you see the screen on, huh? Hmm. Who needs these modern things like the internet and thin phones, which ultimately like this sample here, end up with the screen being smashed. Yes, these things are for wimps. These are not for men. For men need something that shows how virulent they are. They need something big. Something that can act as the club if you get robbed, or at least if they try to rob you. What you need is not this. But this, you need the brick, a brick phone, a phone for men, men. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this, believe it or not, in the modern age, is a brick phone. Yes, uh, it turns out Binatone, for the last couple of years actually, have been making a modern version of the classic brick phone. It does have a couple of little things that are modern, but not much. These are proven quite popular with uh, things like celebrities, uh, because, you know, they've had the modern hacking problems, and these, not being connected to the internet at all, do not allow things like that to happen. So, let's have a look at the brick phone, and uh, it comes in this rather attractive box. Rather long box, as is reflected of the machine inside. Yes, uh, by the tone, since 1958, I didn't even know they were still going. They used to be quite popular in the 90s and 80s with their uh, audio equipment. Anyway, vintage style mobile phone. Yep, we can see that. Long battery life. In fact, it will last you a month on standby and quite a long time on... Uh, Talk time as well. Oh, look at that. Two and one phone. Link via Bluetooth to your smartphone. Yes, with this you can either put a SIM card in and it can be an independent phone or you can use it as like a Bluetooth handset for your modern phone and you can make phone calls and listen to audio through it. Uh, the Bic. B the Bic? The Brick. British. 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 Anyway, well, the United Kingdom. Not much left of that, but that's a different subject. Anyway, long battery life, up to one month standby time, or 14 hours of talking time. So is this made for a woman or a man? I'm not sure now. Anyway, oh dear. Uh, I'm back to Times 1958, just to remind us again. Two-in-one phone, mobile and Bluetooth handset. Works with any network provider. SIM lock free. Yep, it's unlocked. If it's a smartphone, it'd be unlocked, but... It's not a small phone. It's not unlocked. It's just it's a phone. Access smartphone contacts, text messages, and a call log via Bluetooth. I'm sorry, via Bluetooth, Bluetooth. What? And call log via Bluetooth, 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 Bluetooth. Up to one month standby, fourteen hours standby. Store three hundred contacts directly on the phone. Play music through loudspeaker, micro SD card for your music. <laughs> Uh, speaker hands free and, uh, hear crystal clear sound from the powerful speaker. It's powerful, but it's not that powerful. Light your way using the torch. Bluetooth compatible with iOS and Android works with 2G network coverage. Obviously, there is no need for 3G with this system. Uh, and you can get extra batteries. Just in case a month standby isn't enough for you. Perhaps you take it in the jungle or something. You can have up to three months standby, or up to six months standby. And multicolor packs. Multicolor. Multicolor. Anyway. So, let's get this out of the box. Hoo-hoo! I just got to show you. Is your mobile... What? Two-on-one phone. Is your mobile... Enter a SIM card to use the brick as your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. SIM. 
in there. Or as your Bluetooth handset. Pair the brick via Bluetooth to your smartphone and it becomes your fashionable handset. If you like carrying things everywhere because there's no case of this to put it on your back. Or anything like that. Hmm. And uh, there we go, the brick. So, let's release it from its prison and see what we get inside. Right, inside we found the following two things. The phone itself, which we'll look at in a moment, and a box of goodiness. Now, there in the middle usually comes the battery and a battery caddy. I've already taken those out and fitted them to the phone, so we don't need that. In this side you get, uh, you got a lead. I've got the lead is. Oh, yes, it's your USB lead uh, in a bag. Uh, the, you get the fold out quick start guide. Not much need for it. Although I do think it's a Chinese operating system. Uh, we'll see why in a few moments. But there's the guide. Not much to say about that. Uh, and in here, you did get, but it's already gone, a uh, standard Chinese charging brick. Nothing special. Probably you can trust it because it's come from a reputable brand, but in the end, it's a Chinese brick phone and it's very light. Anyhow, let's get on with the important bit the phone itself. The phone of deadliness. This, my friends, is the precious, the precious brick phone. Yes, Smeagol like the brick phone. Smeagol prefer la. Smeagol possess what your game of VX for this bit. Yeah. No, anyway. Oh, anyway, I'm back. Right, so this is your brick phone, and I have this uh, built with this battery in, and it's light. Well, it's not light in a cheap way, it's light in a compared to an original brick phone. That would be because the battery technology is completely different. But let's have a look. On the front, you've got your speaker with your binet own thing. You've got your, your uh, screen, which is in colour. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a nod to modern phones. Uh, and then you've got your sort of classic layout uh, for phones of the period. Although this does come with this button, which is for the LED torch. And I don't think any original brick phones have that. Uh, on the side, nothing. Well, yes, I lied. This is your charging port, which is a, a USB, mini USB. On the bottom is what looks like a charging port. But it is not. It is a lie. Yeah, that's just for show. Uh, it's actually charged via that. Other side, nothing. On the top is an LED for the torch and an aerial, which is actually the aerial that's used. If you take it off, uh, yeah, it is an actual aerial. And this has a radio built in, so that actually operates the aerial. Like a modern, unlike some modern smart Unlike a modern smartphone, you do not need uh, to plug headphones in to get the radio. You can get this without it. In the back, it's going to embarrass me now, isn't it? Ah, there we go. It opened. Just slide it down. And in the back, you've got the powerful speaker. So they claim. Uh, the caddy, underneath which is the battery. You've got space for a full-size SIM card. Unfortunately, it's full-size. You'll need a converter if you're going to use that. And space for an SD card, so you can put your music directly in it. So that goes in there, and the caddy goes in there, which allows it to be adapted to different types of batteries. So. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's fire this thing up. I'll just adjust the camera first. Right, I have uh, repositioned the camera, as you can see, and uh, here is our phone. Let's switch it on. To do this, we do the traditional way of holding down the red button until it fires up. Yeah, the uh, the graphics there uh, are not something you'd ever find on a brick phone. And uh, the volume of when you switch it on there cannot be changed. That is one downfall. It's going to let everybody know you've got one of these when you switch it on. Uh, it's actually connecting to, to my Bluetooth at the moment. Uh, hang on. I should just uh, switch the uh, smartphone for connection failed. Connection failed. Right, anyway, it says enter SIM there because uh, we don't have a SIM card in it, obviously. 
Uh, right, so, you've got this uh, pink screen, colour screen, with the time and date, so you can all see when I film this. <laughs> Battery indicator, uh, Bluetooth indicator, and signal indicator, and uh, yeah, you've got a menu button which will take you into the menu. So you've got a phone book, uh, you can choose local or Bluetooth, uh, I think you move across using that one, yeah. Bluetooth and it will then get your Bluetooth connections from your main phone. You've got, hang on, let's have a look at uh, what you can do. Yeah, you can add uh, new people, all the usual stuff. Go down, you've got messaging service and you can write, receive uh, via this, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, either local or Bluetooth again, so it's independent or running through your smartphone. Got all the usual Bluetooth functions, sorry, messaging functions there. You got your call center, uh, call history, call settings, call settings, advanced settings. What's this? Oh, auto read out, uh, call time, remind, and answer mode. Okay, so different options there. Uh, got an organizer, which has a few options here. It's got a calculator, very basic calculator there, do, 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 which you usually do. The torch. Torch on. So you can uh, use the torch through that option, or you can just press the button here, and that will switch it on and off. Oops. Uh, calendar, which is just a calendar. There's not much you can do with it. Jump to date, jump to today, go to week. You can't put uh, anything on there. Or you can set multi, multi alarms. Loads of different alarms you can set. No problems there. Uh, organizer, you got settings, profiles, general silent meeting outdoors, obviously within each one. You can customize them or different options how you'd like. Uh, let's just have a listen at the different ringtones this thing comes with. for my channel, shouldn't I? <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, different ones there. Uh, phone settings, time and date, language, writing language. I think that's display language, really. Uh, display settings, screen, auto, power on, display, animate, different animations. Uh, you can have it, the other anim actually, system. Yeah, you can have different animations, but this one's not really existing. Uh, power off display. You can change animations to power off of the display and show date and time on and off. Uh, okay, and auto update, which is on, but I can't see how it auto updates because there's no internet. It is very weird. Oh, auto update time. Sorry, me stupid. Must get that from the uh, radio signal or network. Okay, from network. Sorry, me still stupid. Anyhow. Uh, security settings, phone security, yeah, phone lock on, change password, uh, connectivity, Bluetooth, uh, on visibility, my name, and advanced, I'm back, and restore. So, audio player, please insert memory card, yeah, we'll play audio. Uh, Bluetooth dialer, this is for connecting to your smartphone. All you do is uh, let it scan, find your smartphone, select that, and uh, just confirm on both machines, and it's very simple to connect like any other. And you've got the funds bit. This is where I'm starting to suspect this is a Chinese operating system. Funds. File man- what? Ah, file manager for looking at your card. Uh, multimedia. An image reel if you've got uh, SD card in. I can't imagine that would be much good. An FM video which does work nicely. Very nicely. I've tried it. And uh, oh. 
Games. Yes, games. Although, there's only one game. Oh dear. Uh, game settings. Audio on, vibration on, volume 4. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, let's have a go. Oh, snake! Start game. And, uh, oh, you've got to use the keys here, actually. The... Start game, let's play again. Right, go. Oh, dodgy. Trying to keep the speaker slightly up so you can hear it. And when you're playing Snake, <laughs> on a public transport, if you're used in that, everybody will know you're playing Snake, because it makes lots of noises to let everybody know that you're a cool 80s dude. There we go. Class. Anyway, yes, <laughs> the funds, which is only one fun, so there we go, and back to the phone book. So, that's all the functions it has. It is a basic smartphone styled as a brick phone. Let's put the camera up and conclude. Okay, the binatone or binatone uh, brick phone. Uh, I have actually used it in calls. I've used it through a Bluetooth connection. I haven't used it through its own SIM card, but uh, the sound is clear. It uh, doesn't have as much bass as my smartphone does, but that may vary depending on what smartphone you've got. Uh, but it does have a nice clear sound, so there's no problem there. And you do, I've actually used this <laughs> outdoors, and you do get a few funny looks, uh, so it's not for people who don't want attention. Uh, which well built, works well, and uh, it's just cool. And also it's a solution if you don't want a smartphone, but you want something that looks good. Although the practicalities of it, yeah, you need something to carry it in, because you can't really stick it in a pocket. In the 80s we'd stick these on a, a little back sort of container thing but you don't do that anymore so not I've seen but there you go so if you've enjoyed this video then please subscribe if you haven't uh, there's also links to our social media down below and you can support the channel through patreon if you really like it so thank you for how much you need to put being dirty you're a dirty boy <laughs>